Hi everybody and welcome to the Big Sis YouTube channel. I'm Big Sis and this is my first video and it will be an intro video covering the who, what, when, where and why of this channel so if you want to know stick around. Who? Who am I? I am Big Sis. I am a recent graduate from Simon Fraser University in British Columbia, Canada and I graduated in June with a degree in the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences specifically in the field of psychology. I am currently taking a year off and a fun fact about me is that I'm a big sister in real life. I have a little brother who might be making an appearance at some point in one of my future videos. What is this channel about? Well, growing up can be fun, but it can also be difficult and challenging and we end up with a ton of questions that we might feel like we have no one to ask. Um, or you may have people you um, want, can ask but you don't really want to ask them and so what do we do? A lot of the times we go on the internet because, and yes, I type like this really close, um, we go on the internet and we look up information and the, in the internet is a great resource, there's tons of stuff on there and it's so easy and accessible and I love it. The problem is, is that not every piece of information, not every site, not every article is equivalent when it comes to what's correct, what's valid, uh, what's unbiased or unjudgmental, and what is actually helpful. And some of the times it's hard to sift through this information, especially when you're younger and you don't really know how to be a critical consumer of this information. And so what I have done, because I have spent years and years um, doing research papers, things like that, and I've learned how to actually um, go and find relevant, um, up-to-date, valid resources, I've actually done the work for you. So this channel then um, is a result of you know, sifting through information and getting you the information you need and it's basically like your one-stop uh, shop for current, updated, peer-reviewed, unbiased and valid resources um, and it's your go-to place for answers regarding anything that has to do with growing up. So things about health, it could be mental, physical, emotional, sexual health, um, things about relationships, for example with family, with friends, or with partners. Um, so basically every video that I post regarding some topic is going to include links to where I found that information from. Um, you know, it could be an internet uh, resource, book, magazine, whatever. Um, but that I feel is going to help you. And um, it's there for you to also go and find more information if something wasn't addressed or whatever. So basically I've tried to look for sites that are teen friendly, which makes it um, makes the information accessible and easy to understand, but it's also accurate and helpful. Um, so yeah, I think that it's a, it's a great system and that's basically what this channel is about. It's, it's for you to help you uh, navigate growing up and all the fun that's involved in that. Does this sound good so far? So if you want to stick around, I'll tell you when this party is going down. Um, I will be doing a video every Thursday. So how this will work is basically I have an email set up. It's askbigsisnow at gmail.com and what you do is you type in a question um, that you may have about whatever that has to do with growing up or whatever you're dealing with and it would be helpful if you put the topic of what your question is about in the subject line so I can kind of put them in categories and then the category that has the most questions or the, the question that keeps coming up the most will be one that I make my video around that I will do the research for that I will present a video and then I will uh, post it um, every Thursday and yeah and so every Thursday I'll be coming up with a new video with a new topic or question and then on that day, I will be deleting all the emails from the past week and starting fresh. So if your question isn't answered, um, please do resend it. And if I notice that one question keeps popping up again and again and from the same person and, I, and I'm not addressing you or whatever, I will probably just email you privately. I won't have the time to make it an elaborate answer or very long or anything like that because, you know, it depends on how much volume actually I get. If I get a lot of emails, it's going to be really hard. If I get three emails, then it's going to be really easy and I'll be glad to help. So, um, yeah, if, it, if you feel that you're not getting your uh, question answered, please type in like urgent or something like that in, in the subject line um, and I will address it um, because I want everyone to feel like they have someone to ask and that they are getting their um, questions answered and they, they um, in, in a timely fashion, you know. I'm not superhuman, but I will do my best to help out as many people as I can. 
every week. Where can you contact me? Um, like I said, askbigsisnow at gmail.com. Um, remember to put the topic of your um, question or whatever in the subject line. An example of this, um, put, a t put your topic in the subject line is for example, subject, period, boyfriend problem or girlfriend problem, popularity, fights with parents, weight, etc. Okay, so just short kind of, this is what I'm trying to talk about. This is what I'm asking you about. So I can just kind of organize it. Good? All right. And the last question, which I think is the most important question, is why? Why am I doing this? Well, let me ask you a few questions. Have you ever felt that you were dying to ask a question, but you either felt too embarrassed to ask it, or you felt that you would get in trouble if you asked it, or that you didn't really think you had anyone who would understand you or why you're asking that or even, you know, they don't know what you're going through so they're not really much help. Um, or you basically just felt that you wish you had a big buddy who you could ask questions and who would be able to help you out and still be non-judgmental and supportive and positive and all that. Um, I have. I have um, actually experienced a lot of these things. Now, I have to say, I grew up in a very supportive, very amazing family. I'm very close with both my parents and my extended family in general. Um, and I actually come from a, a family of medical, you know, personnel, doctors and scientists and things like that. So I've actually never had a problem with asking questions. Um, questions have always been encouraged. My parents have always had the philosophy, if you're old enough to be thinking about something and ask it, you're old enough to get an answer that is, you know, um, at your age range and that is um, helpful to you to understand. And um, you should be able to get those answers. And so I've always been able to ask and it's very been o very open in my family and stuff like that. The problem is sometimes, you know, at some point while you're growing up, there are some questions that you want to ask and you don't really know, but it's kind of weird to ask your mom or your aunt or, you know, just, uh, and then like, for example, you know, if you have best friends who are a little bit younger or they maybe haven't gone through the same stuff as you yet or something like that, because, you know, people develop at different rates and different times. And uh, so, you know, you don't really know like who to ask and, and it's kind of weird. So this is basically why I'm making this channel because I have been in that position and now as, you know, an adult, I guess, I'm considered an adult, but that's just weird to me. Um, I'm in a position where I can actually answer some of these questions and help out, but it's still not so weird that I'm like someone's mom or something something like that and so I figured now or never um, if I'm gonna do this I better do this now another reason um, I'm doing this thing is because um, I've been in positions of leadership for almost 10 years now I have you know throughout my you know teen years and into my like er, um, early adulthood I have um, been a tutor a mentor um, a dance teacher even my job my current job I work with a city that I live in I'm a program leader I do after-school programs programs for kids. Um, so I've always been in positions where I'm working with youth and kind of been exposed to like their ideas and things like that. And as a dance teacher, I actually developed close bonds with some of the dancers that I used to teach. And I found that even after I moved on from being their dance teacher, they would email me questions, you know, things like, you know, um, I don't know how to um, use a pad or a tampon or, you know, everything from, you know, things like that that's kind of embarrassing to deep things like, you know, my parents are going through a divorce and I don't know how to handle it or, you know, my best friend is hurting herself or, or something like that. And I found that I keep answering the same kind of questions over and over again and I keep being put in a position of where people are asking me for my advice. And so I thought about if these girls are experiencing this kind of stuff, maybe there's girls and boys actually Probably, there are, probably are around the world who are experiencing similar things and maybe making a channel out of it would um, help more people and have those similar questions addressed at once so that I don't have to keep retyping it constantly. And so I actually brought it up with my um, dance girls, my little sisters that I like to call them, and they were like, yes, do it. This would be an amazing thing. It's needed. I think it's a great idea. You should do it. They were just pushing me, pushing, pushing, like, do it, do it, do it, do it. And I finally decided to make one. So thanks to them, I'm not going to name them because I don't want to embarrass them, but you go you girls are the reason I'm doing this. I really hope it's what you expected it to be. I really hope it lives up to your expectations and what you um, hoped for it. And um, I just want to thank you for giving me the inspiration and the courage to do something like this. So thank you very much. And uh, lastly, um, as I mentioned already, on the internet there's lots of misconceptions, lots of confusion, lots of... Um, wrong answers, harmful answers, stuff like that, that I've been noticing and 
I, when I see something wrong, I have to say something. I'm the kind of person who just has to stand up for things like that or stand up against things like that. And so my job here is to clarify, to um, help educate and to just kind of, you know, clear the fog for people and help them out. So it's my way of giving back to my community in my year off and I'm very excited to be doing this because it's been on my bucket list for a long time and this uh, channel is, although very terrifying, um, a dream come true and I hope that, um, you know, I'll keep, I'll keep uh, being able to do this and that I'll get support for this channel. So yeah.